Hello guys, hope you are doing okay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how can we transpose value with formula and how can we transpose value without formula. We need to come across situation where we need to transpose columns into rows and rows into column. So in this video, I'll show you how can we do this. Here I created a sample data. First column is region, quantity, rate and amount. So if I want to convert the column data into rows data and rows data into column data I can do this with using transpose function so without formula we can do this first of all I need to select this and then press ctrl C and here I click on any empty cells and then right click if you see right click there is a transpose function here if I click on this transpose function so it will transpose the value it will transpose the column into rows and these rows the region east west south north and central into columns the one things i want to make you sure that if you update this data for example if i enter 15000 so it won't update the quantity here it won't automatically quantity here you need to manually update this data so i just bring back to the 13,000 and now now I'll show you how can we transpose the value with the help of formula for using the formula first of all we need to select the cell range on which the data will come so I'll select the cell range and then I will start writing formula is equal to T R A N so transpose function will come press tab now I need to select table array from which the data will come. So I'll select all this table, close off bracket. And one thing, very important thing, I won't press enter. I will press control shift and enter. If I press control shift and enter, the formula will work. Otherwise it won't work. So it has converted the columns into rows and rows into column. The important thing and the beauty of this using this formula is if we change any data here if I change it to 15,000 so it will automatically update here the formula will pull up the data from the original data and update here whereas if we don't use any formula if we just copy and paste the transpose function so it won't put pull any data so I recommend to use to transpose the value with the help of formula so it will auto pick up the values from the original table. So this is all about the transpose value. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and must mention in comment if you want to share your any opinion about the transpose function. And make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you want to watch more informative videos. I'll see you guys in next video.